morning. Today I'm going to put on Stegs Pegs. Oh, I think this is this side. It's like this. It's a fairly narrow profile. What it does is it uh, helps lock in your boot so you can grip your bike better so you don't always have to hold on with your arms and then you get less uh, arm pump and fatigue according to the package so here goes nothing holy shit wow I don't know what the hell's going on. This subframe bolt. It obviously has Loctite in, on it. And I do not have a fucking 3H ratchet. <sighs> Maybe God just doesn't want me to put these fucking things off. Guessing this is for the other side. Ah, uh, hey, good guess, fucking genius. Well, so much for that. Gonna improvise. Oh God. Wrong way. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's fat and Albert. Now I'm gonna sing a song for you. There you go. Improvision. Yeah, just drop all the tools all over the fucking ground. Dumbass. Now, what was that you just dropped? It's uh, stormy and windy outside. The race tomorrow should be fucking incredibly incredible. You know? Let me see. Perf, bro. Perf. Hey, bro. Perf. Perf. I wonder if I'm supposed to save this. I always save. I'm saving all the bolts that I take off this. Wow, what is that? Does that just go flat right on there? No space or nothing, huh? I did go and look for. I, watch some installation videos of this but of course they all didn't have the same bike but it's all fairly the same and, uh, you can see all my mechanical skills me dropping shit all over the fucking place
Well, now it's different tools. Now I need the Allen and the 8. Doesn't feel right at all. Let's get it started. Let's get it started. This is not working out the way I wanted it to. Because <laughs> you put the 10 on and not the 8. What times I'm gonna have to cut this video, but let's do maybe I'll just leave it in real life, actual time. Talk about low throw. I think it's snug. There's a bug on a rug. And this is the only Ellen reach I have. How fucked up is that? And there you go. Once you have the right tools around, it's fairly simple. So, in theory, your leg is supposed to squeeze against your bike, hit this puck, and now you can lean back on your bike release your hands well not completely and you're supposed to have better all overall control of your bike let's do the other side and then this goes here these are stock locations that they tell you to use when you first get it and then you can move it back or forth to accommodate your riding style and that is not the right one you got the same problem being that I don't have a 3.8 socket drive I went like this I use my Brain is it too well right now? There you go. I got it. You need that leverage, boy. You need that leverage. See that blue stuff on there? Loctite, which I should be putting back with the new bolts, but I don't have it. The race is tomorrow. I'm 
You just gotta wing it. Okay. Wow, I don't like the look of that. Millimeter, Peter. Uh, five on a good old metric Allen wrench. I gotta remove this plastic. O-ring that they have holding all the parts together. Put that on. Screw that in. I'm sure, there's a lot of noises. My airbox cover will never come off with this thing on, but it's a good thing. Yeah, they look they look like they're in the same spot. I think this might be Looks pretty good. I don't have time to test drive it for the race. I may be able to ride around the park in the morning. I don't know what, how well I'll be able to test it. But maybe I can adjust it. Maybe it'll feel funny. Maybe it'll feel fine. But there you go. The installation of stay. Bigs. Less arm pump and fatigue. I'm going to need that in a race. I bought this at BRAP. BRAP.com. BRAP up something. I'll leave the uh, link. In the description. Later.